Hello Seekers, welcome to Panisa Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Mars, the planet of aggression, the planet of fighting, the planet of, of you know, energy. The planet that is in its own zodiac sign will enter within 5 degrees of Rahu. I have already discussed about Mars in Bharani and I have already discussed about Mars in, in the Aries zodiac sign. But this is a very short transit. It's, it's from 24th of July till 7th of August. But it's a quick message I wanted to give you. This is called proper Angarak Yoga because now they are within 5 degrees. So until Mars exceeds 5 degree of Rahu's degree, Angarak Yoga will exist. Now effect will be obviously seen for the next 6 months. Now what is this Angarak Yoga? Whenever Rahu, which is the Angarak, Angar, Angar means something that is hot, a hot burning coal. How does it look like? It is like a burning red color. It, re it represents anger, anger in society, anger in people's heart and mind. It represents your frustration. It represents that something is brewing inside your heart. You know what is the best way to look at this Angarak Yoga? If you look at it from, the, from your moon sign, from the Lagna I have already explained, you can watch that video. But from the moon sign, you will understand how it is going to affect your psychology and how it is going to affect your mind. Now Rahu is a force of change. Mars is a force that executes. When a change and execution come together, it will execute a change. Now whether it will the execution of the change will be positive or negative will depend on your own energy, how you perceive the world. This is the time where you will have to be slightly careful from any anger outburst, any emotional outburst because this video will mostly concern with the moon, your mind. So you need to keep yourself anger free, frustration free by continuously chanting the name of God. Chanting Hanuman Chalisa three times every day is a good remedy. I have explained more about this Angarak Yoga. I can say a negative about this Angarak Yoga on my Patreon channel. So please join my Patreon channel where I upload exclusive videos that are different from what I upload here on this YouTube platform. But you also need to understand that the energy given by the planets in this time frame is so dramatic that can, it can affect your judgment, it can affect your perception. So you need to be as positive and as grounded as possible. Whenever Rahu and Mars come together, it is like a wireless communication. So it will affect your aura. So radiate positivity, not negativity. And whatever aura you will radiate will be actual reflection of your mind. And that is why I want you to see this transit through the moon sign. Aries moon sign, Taurus moon sign, Virgo and Scorpio are the four moon signs which will be maximum impacted by this moon and Rahu Angarak Yoga formation. For Aries, it is happening on your ascendant. So it will directly impact you, but it can give you power of creation power of thought. You can think something unique, think, think something out of the box, utilize that. For Taurus, it can give you the power of defense. You can create smart ways to defend your life, protect yourself and this can, this can prepare you for some bad days in the future. So utilize that. For Virgo, it causes intense transformation. So if you really want to bring changes in your life, a much needed transformation, this is the time you can plan something, but don't get frustrated. And for Scorpio, your Lagna Lord is Mars. When it goes in the sixth house, the Chandra Lagna Lord finds the Prarabdha Karma. So there will be few things which you will see that you are doing, which you don't like, but try to understand the essence behind it. And if you have a Saturn in Scorpio, those 86, 85 and 87 born, if you have Saturn in Scorpio and if you have Moon in Scorpio and if this Mars goes in 6th house along with Rahu, you will be desperately trying to come out of a situation, you will be desperately trying to fight somebody or something, don't do that. Actually, Saturn wants you to be more humble. So if you have Saturn in Scorpio along with Moon, you must pray to Bhagwan Hanuman and you must follow his principles of life. You can also pray to Bhagwan Shri Ram by just chanting Jai Shri Ram. 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे यू नीड टू ब्रिंग दैट वॉल कैन ओ इन साइड यू टू रेस्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू इम्पैक्ट एयर जोडियक साइन जेमिनाई लिब्रा एंड अक्वेरियस बिकॉज एयर स्प्रेड्स फायर राइट बिकॉज एयर स्प्रेड्स फायर यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल बिकॉज योर वर्ड्स कैन एक्चुअली स्प्रेड लाइक वाइल्ड फायर यू कैन एक्चुअली थ्रो द फिलोसॉफिकल कंसेप्ट ऑफ लाइफ इन द सोसाइटी सो दैट इट कैन स्प्रेड लाइक अ पॉजिटिव मैसेज सो योर टास्क विल बी टू स्प्रेड द पॉजिटिव मैसेज For Leo and Sagittarius, the other two fire zodiac sign, you will see this Mars energy coming in your trine. So you will also have to follow the path of dharma and preach the righteousness. See if you can follow the path of Bhagavad Gita. See if you can follow the path of right attitude in life and bring much needed change. For water zodiac, Cancer and Pisces, you are already. aspected by jupiter so you are least affected but wait from 29th july till 7th of august jupiter will become retrograde so this will make you rethink lot of thing and that can put into you into a kind of a mental loop where you are thinking repeatedly about things in the past so stay alert on that angle and for the earth zodiacs oh, you can also see that in case of earth zodiac the two earth zodiac taurus and virgo are affected directly but for capricorn it's a very different because for capricorn this is going to affect the fourth house now here your expectations can be your badhaka so be very careful how you are dealing with your family members and how you feel about yourself see whenever mars and rahu come it will change the way you perceive your reality it will change the way you perceive the energies around you you might sense threats you might sense negativity but we all can transmute negative to positive it is our duty to change the aura and all what i'm saying will start with yourself first focus on yourself if each one of us corrects our own individual aura the world will become a beautiful place and that's the message just to add one more thing because this mars and rahu is angarak and this represents a lot of anger you know pent up emotion coming out and this venus is in bharani which is the lord of bharani nakshatra is also going to be in ardra nakshatra this can affect your relations so your words your anger your expression can damage and hurt people relax be grounded because this is an energy of creation rahu and mars can create something you know what is the best way you can manage this energy create something read something learn a book learn a new language be creative write poetry express your anger in the form of poem and these are few ways by which you can manage the ever strong you know rahu mars energy with slightly feminine forces give it a feminine touch a creative touch or a softer touch and you will see the rough and coarse mars and rahu will become a smooth wireless technology a wireless energy and if you are facing too much of problems in life this is the time to chant durga saptashati because ma durga is the is the jagadambe who is so strong who is the strongest feminine force who can control the mars and rahu remember she is the mahishasur mardani so you can chant mahishasur mardani stotra especially if you are taurus moon or taurus ascendant or if you are really facing problems from the taurus area of your life that means the bhava in your kundli ruled by taurus for more interesting stuff please join the extended version of this video on my patreon channel thank you for supporting we'll meet in the next video till then this is your host puneet namaste